I like Kennedy's quote. And Kale, I don't think that's what he had in mind. Transparency and electing people that will actually do their job will probably work a bit better. Let me show you. It is the board's responsibility to oversee the millions of dollars that are spent each and every month. The business manager has some responsibility, but the duty falls to the board, as you can see. Rubber stampers are misguided. It takes board members to roll up their sleeves and follow our oath and transparently scan all the invoices so the community stakeholders can review them. Transparency empowers the community. Our oath demands it, and we get thousands of volunteer auditors in return. Transparency is a solution to corruption. Here are two quick examples and a list of others at the end. But first, let's hear the end of that oath. And repeat after me. I, say your name, do solemnly and that I will discharge the duties of my office with fidelity. And I will discharge with fidelity. With fidelity. It is not illegal to be naive or dull. Only a board can hire a district employee. And prior to hiring, the board should be able to review all the resumes of all the applicants. It's common sense. Our administration, the one we were elected to oversee, blocked this board from seeing all the applications, and yet the board rubber-stamped the administration's recommendation. Blind trust is not oversight. Here's example two. The solicitor works for the board. The business manager cannot be responsible to oversee these expenses. After this case was withdrawn, the solicitor continued to bill the district for two additional months. The board president was consulted and the charges continue for another page. Rubber stamping a solicitor, giving the fox the keys to the hen house is not oversight. Blind trust is not oversight. There are many more. This lack of responsibility has been happening for years. The people were silenced. Here is a quote from an ex-board member. Our policy dictates we engage the stakeholder, not silence them. We are their servants. Moral citizens do not negotiate the terms of the oath. There is no common ground on the lawless side of the oath. Rubber stampers breed corruption. Being naive or nice is no excuse. And that is why I strongly and passionately advocate for the resignation or removal of any board member that fails to at least honor their oath. Thank you. Love or thunder